Welcome to the LibreOffice Tips and Tricks. Today I would like to show you how non-linear curve fitting is working. Here you can see ice cream temperature data. The ice cream ingredients were mixed at room temperature and after that we started to freeze it cool down until after 20 minutes it reached uh, minus 7.5 degree. It is in Celsius always. The recipe is always the same. Uh, the calculation has one uh, template. First, I make the chart to be able to see how the data looks like. It is in temperature, I know. The grid lines, I would like to change and add to be more beautiful, more readable. Okay, here is the next grid line. No, 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 that continues. Ultra fine dash. Okay, it finished at 20 minutes. So our scale also should follow this because the experiment has the last data at 20 minutes and we need title. So the x axis has time in minute, the y axis is temperature. In Celsius. Okay, now the chart is beautiful. We have it. And how the calculation looks like? We need a predicted value. It will be Celsius as well. And we need error. The error will be the comparison of prediction and the observation. In order to be able to calculate uh, the predicted values, we need to know what is the formula we are using. I will insert it there. The formula will be very commonly used equation a minus b times 1 minus exponential minus time divided by c. Okay. So now we have a formula here, and you can see that this formula has three coefficients. The A means the initial temperature, somewhere around 23 it will be. The B means the total temperature change during the procedure, and C means the time constant. It will show us how rapidly or slowly things happen. A, B, C coefficients. Initially, I will give the parameter 1, 1, 1 to each we are going to identify those parameters. To be able to make a nice uh, equation here uh, for the prediction calculation, I will give names parameter A for A, then parameter B for B, and parameter C for the C. I always prefer names because it is more easy to write readable equations and we don't have to uh, trace back uh, where our fixed references point to. So parameter A minus parameter B multiplied by 1 minus exponential minus time divided by parameter C. Okay, now we can see the equation. A, B, C coefficients are A, B, C like here. Exponential function, it is very easy to read what we want. And the error will be prediction and observation difference on the squared. We always have to calculate the squared values because the positive negative differences will not eliminate each other this way. So the sum of uh, of squared values will be here. Calculate the sum. This is the reason why this method is calculated the least squares method, because the sum of squared errors from here, they have summarized, uh, we would like to get it minimal. So the ABC coefficients will be changed to get the minimum value of this mistake, curve fitting mistake. I will add the new data, data ranges. I will add one more. It will be the prediction, predictive data, x value will be time, 
like the experimental values, y value will be the estimation based on the coefficients and the equation. Okay, so now we have it, but I would like to format to have line. So we will have a nice continuous line, no symbol. You can see here now the data together and the fitted curve. What is the purpose? Uh, to move the curve uh, close to the data as much as possible, so we will minimize the sum of squares. We will use the solver extension. Here the target cell will be the sum of squared values. We are looking for the minimum and my previous try was here. The ABC coefficients will change. So the three things we always have to uh, adjust here in the solver is the target cell. It is the formula always. Now the mistakes, the uh, prediction error, we want to get it to minimum by changing the function coefficients ABC. Now in options we can choose what kind of algorithm we are using. I suggest now the SEO algorithm, but you can use any other and maybe assuming non-negative variables can be useful, uh, especially if they have meaning. Uh, if the equation is correct, uh, all coefficients should be positive. Okay, and now we are going to solve it. No, no, it is still very far. You can see here it was unable to find it because uh, our initial predicted values are far from the data. Now I try it again. Okay, and for second try it was working very nicely and it was able to identify the most suitable curve with very small error. Now can be a question, what is the quality of this curve fitting? Okay, we have nice uh, uh, coefficients. Uh, we can uh, trust them. I think it is uh, reliable. We have something uh, start around 22, uh, around 30 degree change. It, it looks to fit. So the R squared value is uh, one the determination coefficient uh, people use uh, very frequently. It is the correlation between observed data and predicted data on the squared value. While it is 0 0.999, it is very nice, uh, good uh, curve fitting. And uh, the other quality parameter, what I usually recommend is the root mean squared error. It is calculated exactly uh, how it sounds uh, for root mean squared error. So the squared error mean value should be rooted square root of the average of the errors. This we can understand in Celsius, like our data. And it is the uh, usual uh, prediction mistake of our model compared uh, to the observed temperature. So it is very nice uh, small value. Again, what we did in the solver extension, we identified the target cell, the squared error. We want to minimize it by changing the function coefficients. The function coefficients for this equation, which is very common in engineering, because uh, the speed of the process depends on the distance from the final steady state. Thank you for your attention.